Tim Flanagan with the Ski Profit, and I'm joined here today at the Canyons Resort in beautiful Utah with Ron Kipp from the U.S. Ski Team. Ron, what do you do with these guys? I'm the uh, Alpine Sport Education Manager. I'm in charge of the coaches' education for the U.S. Ski Team. So Ron teamed up with us today because we wanted to test out some of Rosignol's experience line skis. Now we really get, we got out there and we ripped around on these in all kinds of different turn mm -hmm. shapes, speeds, the conditions were decent for the lack of snow mm -hmm. that we had had so far this season, um, but we did hit some hard snow and the most amazing thing about this experiment, I guess, as you could call it, or ski test actually, was that these are basic rental skis mm -hmm. and we found that we really liked them a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I think one of the things they've done is incorporating the rocker in the tip, allows skiers now to enter the turn really gently. I think that's gonna help out that beginner skier, that intermediate skier. Yeah, so yeah. They, they skid just enough to get you into the turn mm -hmm. and as soon as you get them up on edge just a little bit, they start to engage. So the rocker or the early rise is starting about right here in these skis. This is the most basic of the rental ski and we skied this in a 166. If you look here on the base, you can see this white arrow indicates where the early rise in this ski begins. And then also back here in the tail as well. So they, they were super easy to initiate. They hook up about when they should. For someone that's just starting out, this is really an ideal ski. It just, it was easy. Yeah, yeah, I think one of the things Rosignol has done having the uh kind of stage one, stage two, stage three. I'm not sure what they call it, but uh, you can progress right through the line and that was really fun out there today. Absolutely. So Ron, you were skiing on this E78R part mm -hmm. of this whole experience series from uh, Rosignol. Mm -hmm. What did you think of this one? Well, this is the, the middle uh, of, the, of the three here. It has the cascade uh, uh, tip on it, so it gets a little softer up here. I thought one of the things that was really great is it didn't want to hook up too early. I could still enter the turn. You know, I could, I could put it when it was flat, it could redirect and then I could actually get up on edge. This thing actually went up to some speed. I was really, really amazed. That's what I found with mm -hmm. it. You could let it run pretty fast and it just seemed to hang on. You know, also I did some wedge turns and some wedge Christies on this thing. You could, if the length was right for the person, you could actually start on this ski if you were purchasing yourself. Oh, I would, yeah. I would totally agree. It's, mm -hmm. it's a, it's an amazing ski. It's very damp and quiet too. That's what I noticed. Yeah, I found no chatter, nothing weird about it. I found as soon as I had any any bit of snow that wasn't hard, hard man-made, it would arc and it would also change arcs. Yep. I could tighten it, I could loosen it, I could stay evenly round. Very maneuverable. I fully agree. Mm -hmm. that, it's just a great ski. It's amazing and it's a rental ski. You yeah. just don't equate these kinds of comments with m most rental skis. and. Uh, I think Rosignol has really done something special here. Yeah, I think the guy that goes to the, uh, the guy or gal that goes to the Rosignol um, setup at the, at the rental shop with this sort of an experience, this experience line here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to find some uh, real success. Yeah, I think you, they're mm -hmm. setting you up to win. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. you know, get out and check out these skis at the any Rosignol Experience Center. You can go online, rosignol.com, and find a link to them. Uh, here at the Canyons Resort in Utah, they have a great experience mm -hmm. center. The kids in here were fantastic, mm -hmm. super helpful, yeah. set us all up today, so we really appreciate that. We thank Rosignol also for letting us try these skis, and uh, the only thing we didn't do was take them across the rocks in the parking lot. Maybe yeah, we, we, should... haven't we haven't fully tested then, I yeah, guess. We yeah, we can do that now. Ron's Not recommended. Gonna... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ron's going to join our test team this winter, and we're going to get him out on some 2013 skis when the time comes. So we'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming out. Been great. Thank you. You bet. And keep watching Ski Gear TV.